Hey everyone! In previous videos I showed you the basics of copying and pasting in Windows, as well as a new feature introduced in Windows 10 called the Clipboard History. In this video today, I want to show you an awesome application called the Ditto Clipboard Manager, and why you would want to use it. So why would we want to use the Ditto Clipboard Manager? Well, one of the big benefits it has is that it has an unlimited amount of space for your clipboard history, versus in the Windows Clipboard History, which you can access with Windows V, this only maintains the last 25 entries that you've copied. Um, the Windows Clipboard History also has a few other disadvantages as well. Uh, things like you can't search in it, and anytime you restart your computer, it wipes out the list. So it can only, only hold 25 entries and it gets reset every time you restart your computer. Um, the other weird thing I've noticed with it is that you can copy images, but they don't always show up in here. It depends how you copied them or which application you copied them from. Uh, so not every time you copy an image, it will show up in this list. Um, so that's a few reasons why this clipboard manager built right into Windows 10 isn't the greatest. Uh, so Ditto, on the other hand, if you take a look down here, you'll see it running in my system tray. It's this little blue icon that looks with the double quotes. I can double click on it to bring it up. And this is what the Ditto window looks like. Uh, so you can see it has my last, I think it's showing my last 12 or 13 clipboard entries here. And uh, you can see here the window is resizable. And unlike most windows, uh, in Windows, um, normally the title bar would be on the top that you'd use to drag it around. Uh, with Ditto, this, it's the sidebar that you want to grab to move the window around. So one of the main advantages to using Ditto as your clipboard manager is the search feature. So down here I can click into the search box and I can just search for anything. I can search for jokes. And here we can find uh, some dad jokes that I've copied and pasted in the past. And you can see if I hover over them, it'll tell me the date that it was added to my clipboard and the last time it was used. Uh, so you can see this joke I copied on November 22nd, 2020. So that was, you know, eight months ago, nine months ago now. Um, so as I mentioned, you can store a huge amount of data in the clipboard manager. And you can see when I do search, it searches super quickly. There's no waiting, no load time. It's just very fast. Uh, the other thing you'll notice is that we have images here. Um, so here it's really small, you can't really see what that image is, but you can right click on it and say view full description or just hit the F3 key and then it'll show you the full image and I can even scroll and see what it was. Uh, so here's another image, I can just use the F3 key this time and it brings up the image so I can see the full view of it. Another thing that I love about Ditto is that it has tons of hotkeys and tons of options that you can configure. I'm not gonna go over all of them, but I'll go over uh, some of the ones that I changed from the defaults. Uh, so you can click on the little dot, 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 and go to the options. And here's the options screen. Um, some people really love dark theme. Well, Ditto has a dark theme. So let's just turn that on just to show it. Um, I mentioned you can double click the tray icon to bring it up. You can also right click on it and choose show quick paste. And here's and now our Ditto in dark theme. Uh, you can also use a hotkey to bring it up. So I have it configured for Alt tilde, and that brings it up here. So I'm just going to go back into the options and turn dark mode off and go just back to the uh, use whatever theme Windows happens to be using. Uh, the other settings that I wanted to point out here was uh, you probably want Ditto to start with your system startup, so it just turns on automatically. You don't have to run it every time you restart your computer. And also the number of saved copies, the number of clipboard entries you want it to save. Um, I think by default this is set to 5,000. Um, I like to save my clipboard history for pretty much as long as I can. Uh, so I set it to 50,000. Uh, you can also turn this option on if you only want to keep uh, clipboard entries for a certain number of days. Maybe you want to keep them for a week or a month um, or just a full year. You could turn that on as well. One of the other settings that I often change uh, after installing Ditto is in the advanced here, if you scroll down, you'll see one called Paste Clip in Active Window After Selection. By default, this is true. And what this means is, uh, so I set it to false, but what it means is as soon as I click on one of these entries, it would normally paste it into the window. And you can see here it didn't paste it, otherwise it would look like that. It would have actually pasted that, one, that word into my text editor and 
I don't really like that. That's a personal preference thing. I like actually having to hit control V to paste uh, so I can control when I want to paste it. And that allows me to do things like maybe search for entries um, and I can select them, sort of get them in my clipboard, but not actually paste them. But when I want to use them later, now it's back up at the top of the list. And I forgot to save my changes, so I, I'm still in dark mode. I'm going to go ahead and turn that off. Okay, now I'm back in light mode. So some other settings that I modify uh, from the defaults that come in Ditto are the keyboard shortcuts. Uh, so by default, it uses Control tilde to activate Ditto. Um, Control tilde brings up the terminal window in Visual Studio and Visual Studio Code, which are applications I use a lot. Uh, so I didn't like that, so I changed it to Alt tilde. Uh, one of the other hotkeys worth mentioning here is the text only paste. So I've set mine to Control shift v And so what that does is maybe you're on a website and you've copied some text and it brings the formatting along with it. So there's an image in here. If I hit Control c to copy it, maybe I go to Word and I paste. You can see here that it kept like the, the boldness of the words. They're bigger. Here we have an image. We have a link, a hyperlink. Um, but, but often people, if they only want the text, they would do something like open up Notepad, come down here, paste it. Now they have only the text, and then they would copy and paste this into Word. Um, I don't like having to do that. It's a big waste of time. So instead, what we can do is just with Ditto, is instead I can do Control Shift V, and we get the same sort of effect as pasting into Notepad, because Notepad just by default doesn't support formatting or hyperlinks or images or anything like that. Um, so this, this is a big time-saving feature uh, for me, I find, when I just want the text of whatever it is that I've copied. The last option that I wanted to show off in Ditto is uh, the Quick Paste options. So if we go to Quick Paste Keyboard, you can see there's a whole ton of commands that you can assign to hotkeys. I'm not going to go over all of them. Feel free to look through them if you like. Uh, but the ones I do want to show off here are these paste position 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Uh, so for me, because I use Alt tilde to launch Ditto, I've configured Alt 1, Alt 2, Alt 3 uh, for automatically sort of grabbing the uh, clipboards in those positions. So I'll show you what I mean. So here, if I go to Ditto and I bring up the window with Alt tilde, you'll notice the first 10 entries have numbers beside them. So here's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, all the way to 0. And so if I don't want to use my mouse, like I could come down here and double click on 3 to put it on my clipboard, then I can paste it. Um, but if I didn't want to have to use my mouse, I can actually just do Alt tilde, and I'm just going to hit 3 again. And it loaded that on my clipboard, and now I can paste. And it grabbed that third entry. And so again, I'll do Alt tilde. And this time I'm going to do Alt 2 to grab that second item again, just dash dash free, and I can paste. And so just if I don't want to reach for my mouse to have to double click which actual entry I want, um, I can just use my, those keyboard shortcuts to quickly access these first 10 entries in my clipboard. And I find this really useful because sometimes you'll do things like um, maybe you'll have a bunch of different things you have to copy from one application to another. And so I'll just copy them all at once. One, two, three, four, five. And so I'll wipe these out. And if we look at Ditto now, these should be my first five entries. And you can see um, they're sorted in the order of uh, most recently copied. And so they're backwards. And so what I could do here, though, if I flip over to another application, I can just do Alt-5, paste. Alt-4, paste. Alt-3, paste. Oops, <laughs> I guess I'm not doing them in quite the right order. But uh, you, you get the idea. So one of the best things about the Ditto Clipboard Manager is that it's free. Uh, so to download it, you can just uh, go to your favorite web browser or search engine, search for Ditto Clipboard, and make sure you don't click on the ads. They're usually the first ones. You'll want to find the one that says Ditto Clipboard Manager from Ditto CP SourceForge. And if you click on that, the web page looks something looks like this. And so to actually download it and install it, you can use this download 64 bit right there. Um, also, if you know how to use Chocolatey, you can just install it from there. And it's also on the Microsoft Store. So if you just want to open up the Microsoft app in Windows, you can just search for Ditto. 
and you'll find it right here, ditto clipboard. You can see the icon looks the same as the one down in the tray. And so you can just click that and just tell uh, Windows to get and install it from the Microsoft Store. Another feature of Ditto that I want to show real quick is that if you hover over uh, the items, it'll give you sort of a, a bigger preview than what you see here. So by default, it only shows two lines. You can change that if you want. You can hit the dot, 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 go to quick options, lines per clip. I can maybe change it to five. And so now each thing shows five items. And so these items that have more in the clipboard than just one or two lines, like this one has, uh, I don't know, 10 or 15, uh, you can see more of it here. But as you can see, if I hover over the item, you can see uh, a lot more of what was uh, copied onto the clipboard for that entry. If you right click and say view full description, then you can actually see the full text document. And so that's the Ditto Clipboard Manager. I've been using it for years and I love it and I've grown accustomed to it. There are other free ones out there. Um, another nice one that I found is called Clip Angel. Uh, so if you just search for Clip Angel in your search engine again, uh, you can download it from SourceForge. The website would look something like this. You can hit the download. And by default, uh, its hotkey to bring it up is Alt-B. And this is what Clip Angel looks like. So it's a little maybe nicer user interface. It's a little more user friendly, I would say. Um, it shows a few things that Ditto doesn't, such as the application that the text or the image was copied from. So here it has a little notepad icon. You can see up here too, it says notepad. If I maybe go here, you can see it has the edge icon. It says MS Edge. Um, also, you get a nice preview of the entire clipboard. So in Ditto, we had to sort of hover over it or right click and say, show uh, the full description. Here, it just shows you a preview by default, which is really nice. Um, I've just been using Ditto for so long, I've grown accustomed to it and I know how to use it. I love it. But uh, you can maybe try Clip Angel. Maybe you would prefer it instead. Um, just like Ditto, you can quickly search for things. It filters down your lists. It even highlights uh, the, the, the search term that you searched for. Um, so maybe you could try Clip Angel out. Maybe you would like it better. Um, if you look at the settings, you can see it doesn't have quite as many as Ditto does, but it does still have quite a few configurable options. Um, and of course, the most important one, uh, the hotkey that you want to use to launch it. So by default, it's Alt-B, but you could change that to whatever you want. And so that's Clip Angel. Feel free to check it out, give it a try. And if you're curious what the icon looks like, it's this guy right here. Okay, so that's a couple of free clipboard managers that you can check out. Uh, I would recommend highly using them. They make you very much more productive. Just being able to search for something you copied, you know, a week ago, even a month, two, three, four months ago, I found has helped me so many times. Um, sometimes it's even just something I copied yesterday but relying on the Windows clipboard history, usually I copy more than 25 things in a day, so it's usually rolled off the end of that list uh, by the next day. So just using a clipboard manager, especially one that you can search, uh, can definitely save you time and make you more productive. I hope you found this useful. Thanks.